Okay, welcome back to our decomp tutorial series. Today we're going to talk about a really quick topic. We are just going to learn how to create a patch for our ROM hack so that we can release it legally. Um, so if you already know how to do this, you know, don't watch this video. It's very simple. We are going to be using an online patch creator because it's accessible for everyone. You don't have to download anything sketchy. Um, so I like using this one. It's not exactly the fastest and there are some other faster ones. But if you just type in ROM patcher, it's usually the first thing that pops up. And here we go to creator mode. Um, normally, if you want to, this is, you know, a patcher used to, um, to patch ROM hack patches onto vanilla ROMs. But if we want to create um, our ROM, we select creator mode and then we choose our files. The original ROM is obviously going to be your vanilla Emerald ROM, um, whatever that may be. Um, your vanilla, I mean, it doesn't, it's not Emerald necessarily, but uh, you will have to get that ROM yourself, obviously. You can compile it, uh, just, you know, compiling Poke Emerald or Poke Fire Red, um, and then use that blank vanilla ROM. It has to be the one that passes uh, Bank Compare, though. And then your modified ROM is your ROM hack. So I already have it pulled up here, so I don't have to go digging through my files. So Pokemon Emerald U GBA, Pokey Emerald Slide, that's my ROM hack. And if I want to create a patch, I just choose my patch type. BPS and UPS are two of the most commonly used modern ones. Um, IPS is common for older hacks, and it is not that great. It has problems, and I believe it's only limited to 16 megabytes uh, or 8 uh, I don't remember, but it doesn't matter. You shouldn't use it, but you can provide one anyway if you want to. So I like providing a UPS, a BPS, and an IPS. Um, and then you just hit create patch, and then you can do the BPS one and create patch, and then you can do the IPS one and create patch. And there's three patches, and you can share those patches uh, and not have to worry about sharing an actual GBA file, a full ROM, uh, and getting you know sent a letter from Nintendo telling you to stop. Um, I mean, they still might do that, but you, will, you don't have to worry about it as much. So anyway, that is how to create a patch for your game. Uh, you know, obviously you can go back into the normal mode and then you can apply your patch to a vanilla version and then you can test it out to make sure that your hack works. It should, um, assuming, you know, you know, you did it properly, you gave it the right files. Um, but it's pretty simple. So. I'm going to leave it there. If you have any questions, make sure to leave a comment. Otherwise, we'll see you on the next one.